Hello Eclectic Souls, my name is Adriana and I'd love to welcome you back today. I feel really silly because I'm literally in my pajamas. I am ready for bed and I thought I should just do my video because I have a busy weekend and I'm always tired nowadays so I thought why not make a quick thrift haul video of what I thrifted the last couple months. So to just go ahead and get started, um, let's do this. So the first item that we have, you probably have seen this on my Instagram already, is this um, probably 80s track jacket. It is beautiful because it has that track material, the shine, but then this beautiful velvet textured pieces, like it's bows, square, bows, square. And I love just fun details like that. And this is a large, but you can kind of tuck it and it's okay to wear just the way you style it. And I'm just really excited that I found this. I used to have a blue track jacket in the, in the day and I got rid of it and I kind of regret it. So this makes up for it, you guys. And when I am shopping, thrifting I definitely like to look for unique items like this that you won't be able to find all the time and especially with the different textures this is kind of a one-of-a-kind unique piece so definitely snag it up the next item I actually mentioned in one of my my Q&A actually of what were my top thrifted items and this is probably my new favorite outfit I have yet to post this on my Instagram but I've worn it so many times is this velvet jumpsuit it was from Nordstrom I don't know what year but it has the square there and it's beautiful velvet it has a elastic waist it has pockets, which is wonderful, and it's completely long a pantsuit. I wore this in the snow, and what I like about this is it doesn't fit really tight, so I was able to wear a long sleeve under and a pair of leggings as well. So this is perfect for the snow, and I'm in Northern California. I love going to my beaches, but they are freezing right now, as they usually are year-round, but even more so right now. So this has helped me keep, stay, keep, this has helped me stay cozy, and I just, I love it so much. And I will have to post this soon for you guys. And also, again, I like my shiny stuff, so I like that it has this bronzy zipper to add to the detail, especially a lot of the jewelry that I wear is kind of more gold, rose gold, bronze. So I like being able to match certain details like this. So with the previous two items, I was able to definitely try those on. And here's a little tip. When you're thrifting right now, especially during COVID, the dressing room, the, the dressing rooms are closed and it is so irritating so I always wear tight fitting clothes like a pair of leggings and a tank top so that I can take either my sweatshirt off or whatever and then try things on top with this item I did not do that and I wish I would have but it still feels, fits pretty good it's just super snug around my hip area here but I absolutely love the color I probably I probably should have worn this during Easter, but I didn't. And it's just, I kind of like that clueless look I have. We're eclectic people here, remember? So make sure that you wear whatever the heck you want. This is a completely different style than the last two I just showed, but I love the color. The material is beautiful, and even the make of the dress is really nice. It doesn't look like someone wore this more than a handful of times really so you are able to find really cute items like this so that you can also feel cute and I don't know what brand this is is YL it's probably a fairly new but who knows let me know in the comments if you know what this brand is honestly when you thrift now I hardly ever pay attention to brands unless I'm looking for a really 
vintage pieces, you can kind of pay attention to what those are. I had a dream um, a couple of weeks ago, last week I think it was, that I wanted to go thrifting because it's been three weeks, you guys, since I started my new job, and I have not gone thrifting, and I was going at least every week on Thursday or Friday. So after I had this dream, Saturday morning, I went on my day off. And I found this beautiful, what do you think it is? Their pants. What I really love about this piece as well is if you look at the detail, it kind of has those buttons and it just curves right here. I like little unique characteristics to these two pieces of clothing where it has kind of that corduroy velvet de detail right there with the buttons. You can see that a lot better. And the colors are just really nice. They're really soft. They're not like in your face and even the pattern. I'm not huge on Paisley and I get kind of Paisley vibes with this, but it's not bad. I think I can wear this. <laughs> now this shirt I think would pair really well with that pair of pants is this here. It still had the tag on. It's kind of sweater material. You can see it tags and it was $12 you guys and I really just fell in love with the sleeves look at those sleeves I'm gonna have to definitely try to replicate this probably with like t-shirt material or something this one again I didn't try on but you can always do you know make sure the ends reach mid armpit area because then you know it will fit around especially around your breast area ladies so I really like this shirt. I was thinking I could use it as a work shirt, but let me tell you, buy work attire so you don't have to wear the fun things that you buy because that's a whole nother video topic, okay? And speaking of work, I had thrifted these jeans because I can wear jeans to work, yay! And um, I already wore one of my pair of jeans like probably way out. and. What I love about thrifted jeans is they're already stretched out and I swear to goodness they are the best thing ever than a brand new pair of jeans. There's nothing like a thrifted pair of jeans. Thumbs up if you agree because I love thrifted jeans. I don't wear jeans anymore that often but for my new job I'm wearing some jeans. So. I kind of like them. The material is really great. A light wash, and then they're slightly more loose at the bottom, kind of like a capri style, which I wouldn't mind. Another item that I went ahead and thrifted was this vest. I was watching The Nanny a lot last year. I don't know if you guys did. I recorded it on TV and watched every single episode. And I love the 90s and 80s vibes of best. So even with those jeans I just showed you, I'd probably wear that with a turtleneck. I know, it's a little far out there, but you know, we're eclectic people. We like to wear whatever suits our boat that day. Another thing that I thrifted, I found some 3X pieces and I am debating keeping these or making them, altering them to fit me because I think I would love to help plus size women to find thrifted pieces because I don't find things very often when I'm searching and I just feel like it's kind of a jackpot thing and to be able to alter something like this for somebody else would make me actually really happy. But I was not a huge fan of the fabric. I love the floral. I just don't know why I don't like that black in the background. Let me know what you guys think. And I just realized because it's so quiet right now that my ding fire alarm thing is going off. So if you hear a beep, that's what it is. And I'm so sorry, it's gonna be hella annoying, okay? So it's a dress, it has like that drop waist. I can't stand it. I'm gonna change the battery. Oh my God, that thing straight up says push and hold 
to reset weekly. Who has time to get a damn chair? And a um, toolbox for extra height to do that. Nobody. Oh my god. <sighs> Anyways, stay safe, you guys, and change your fire alarms. Hopefully it stops beeping. Where were we? Yes. We were looking at this dress. <laughs> So I like the pattern, it's really beautiful, it has that button all the way up and then it has kind of that diamond point right there on the waist. It also has pockets if you are a size, doesn't say, this is a size 18, but if you're a size 18 below, we can try to alter this to you if you like it and maybe if I don't hear back, I'll make something out of it for myself. But I am really wanting to keep this in mind for other people, other ladies, whoever, because I want to make everybody feel comfortable in their clothes. And they also had a white one with pink flowers. This one I really liked a lot more, but I am not huge on like that pattern that we just did. So it's the same thing. This one you can see the sleeves a little bit better. It's really cute. And the drop sleeves again and it also has pockets so out of those two what do you guys like I really like this fabric a lot more I don't know I think this is a lot more spring and the other one's a little bit more fall but they both work really really nicely I think and really pretty so that is basically oh actually I had this this is a vintage I don't know from when. I'm gonna guess either 90s, early 2000s, maybe even 80s. I don't know when Victoria's Secret was actually like a thing, but it's beautiful. This is a lingerie set. It came with a tanga, but um, I was not gonna be taking the tanga. So when I bought it, I was like, I'm gonna take this, and if y'all can just toss those, but I think they were gonna resell them because you don't know some people need to buy Tronis second hand I, I hope not <laughs> it makes me really sad thinking about that let's not be sad right now okay it's too late and anyways the fabric to this is gorgeous you can see it and I love the button detail right here so this is super cute I'm thinking Either to use this as PJs or the fabric's really nice. I might have to make an under, like a slip for under this to be able to wear it out. And it's definitely during the summertime because your nalgas are going to be freezing if you be wearing this in the winter time. So the next thing that I got was, was fabric. So I just got this one, I haven't undone it, but look at how beautiful and shiny. <laughs> this is crepe satin, it's three and a quarter yards and it was only $6.50, let me tell you. Getting fabric at thrift stores is one of my favorite things. I literally have a stack like this big, can't even see it in the frame, um, sitting over there because uh, I have lots of projects that I want to be doing like these things. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a pillowcase out of this. I don't know. It's literally the possibilities are endless. The next thing that I got is this sheet. I really liked, I think it's like a double <laughs> or a queen. I like the little leaves. So your girl be lagging. I thought I could make something for St. Patrick's Day with this, but it did not happen. But it's okay. I can do something later. And I also got these like t-shirt fabrics and put it close together. And I thought I can just make like little t-shirts um, based off of like my Relay for Life shirt that I did, one of my first videos. And I can just kind of copy that style and make myself um, a new set. Or if I have enough of this, I was thinking of even making biker shorts and a tank top with them. So I love it because you're basically buying things on a real budget and not having to go to the thrift store. You're literally finding all of this stuff in one store, which I love. And last, again, 
me with my shiny stuff is this beautiful tulipy red fabric. It's not a lot. I think it was literally a dollar for this little bundle. Woo! But I thought that I could make like a scarf with it or I can make a scrunchie or I can make like a head. Maybe I can make a hat. I don't know. Seriously, I've been loving my fabric. I don't even know if you can hear me because I have a terrible microphone and it literally hears the whispers in the walls kind of thing. So we have those, all my fabrics that I love and ooh, I know what I'm gonna show you guys next. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you are little accessories. I just got those because I always kind of look at the jewelry at community projects, but I look more at home things nowadays. So I got these earrings. They were a dollar each pair, no matter what. And some of them, like this pair, I absolutely love. I don't know if it can focus. There we go. Look how beautiful these earrings are. So these are actually clip-ons. And what I was thinking with these is you could totally, if you have a pair of heels or tennis shoes, like put the clip on the outside like this and it can be kind of like a little embellishment. I don't know if that's really 80s, but I haven't tried it out yet. So if I end up doing it, I will be sure to put that on my Instagram so um, y'all can see the style idea. <laughs> because my brain just puts all these different little um, scenarios together and sometimes they don't work, but it's okay. Uh, the next set that I got, again, shiny pieces. And these ones are clip-ons. pretty they actually remind me of things like jewelry that you would get in Mexico the beautiful just gold like silver and this those little bumpy designs that it has I just really love and I really can't wait to wear them I need to clean them and the next pair that I got was these really cute like purple and blue little earrings Again, this puppy. And they were a dollar, you guys. So, I like little pieces like this. I am huge. I like dangling earrings, but when you got curly hair and they be keeping your ears warm, I mean, you can't be having things getting caught in there. So, I like studs, like little things like this. So, the next pair, oh my god, I thought they were so cute. My bed's gonna squeak right now. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I need to get up. Um, are these little leaves? Oh my gosh. Look at that. Don't focus on my face. <laughs> okay, how do I do this without it focusing on my face, you guys? Can you see? Like that. There we go. Look at those. It's beautiful. And they're kind of like jelly like. Um, like the paint is what I'm talking about on them. So I can't wait to wear those. They'd be so cute. I don't know why my face is but time face. But anyway. And then the next pair oh, on top. So in love. I mean, they're really delicate. And the way they kind of sit make me... This is where I got the idea of being able to put things on your shoes. Like with these ones. Um, they were little. Don't look at my face again little flowers. They're just so freaking cute. Look at that. And like the back of it <laughs> clips on. So I'm thinking like these would be cute to even put maybe like on a top. Kind of like those old western things. Like you can put like right there. So that's a cute idea. Who knows what so those were the earrings I got and they were all one dollar. So the next things that I want to go ahead and show you guys are my, I don't know what, they're my fabrics, but they are like little handkerchiefs. So in community projects, they have this little section where it's like the old hankies. And these things I just feel like, oh, I dropped my scarf, kind of, you know? 
video. So I got these because look at the detail on them. This one is like a really light blue and I just love the corner. They're since slightly different on this side, but I think it's so beautiful and they low-key make me think of like my Juanita because she would make like pretty things. Um, not like these exactly, but she would make like manteles and stuff, you know? And this is like my, one of my top two. Look how pretty, focus, okay. That is, oh my gosh, it's like a light green with a pink. I just love the detail, you guys. I want to be like a bougie old lady. I'm buying things for when I'm old, like, I want to be like, that's so sad. I achieved my dream. Manifest. Remember, we were talking about manifesting on my story. But we have this other one, which is one of my faves. Really cute little pink flower. I like turn it. <laughs> Look at that. I just, I really want to learn how to do things. If you have not watched like ribbon embroidery or just embroidery on YouTube, ugh, it's so pleasing to watch. I want to learn. I will learn one day. And I have just a few other ones. These ones are white. I'll show you like in a bundle. They're just different. That one has just that corner with a little bit of lace. These ones are kind of plain. But I just really, really love little things like this. Um, it makes me nervous that they're white. Like, how did people clean these back in the day? Because I honestly don't feel like... I feel like my makeup would be all over this. It's a little intense. Don't you think? How would you guys clean this? Like for real. This one is one I just bought. It's really light blue. And two of them came in this one. And then one of my favorite things, one day, when I have a nice setup, little office to be filming these things, um, I have my tea set. And I found this tablecloth. I'm probably not gonna be able to fit like the whole thing on the screen. But here is this tablecloth that I purchased. And the flowers literally go like completely around. Ah! <laughs> but they also came with little napkins has the little design so this is like actually like a napkin set and it comes with like one like five or six pieces so this will go perfect with my tea set that is behind the camera and um, you saw a little sneak peek of my tea video so I really just want to have tea parties like a little bit the next thing I found uh, was also in the case where I found like these little scarves and stuff and when I saw it I thought no freaking way because it said $20 and I thought mm, okay $20 let me see this beautiful thing there's probably like a huge stain on it or whatever but no it is beautiful it is literally like queen maybe even king size more like queen but I think it could fit like the top of a king bed this beautiful like crocheted there's the word I can't speak it's 10 o'clock at night but look at this and the edges like my vintage thrifting soul was like the happiest person in the world. Twenty dollars, you guys. Twenty dollars. Veinte dólares. I don't know how to say it in any other language. Finding something like this for twenty dollars, thrifting, is like a gold mine. Let me tell you. 
I was amazed. My mother, she was like, can I get it? Can I buy it? And I was like, girl, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can share my treasures yet, but... If you have questions on what to look for when you're thrifting, let me know. Maybe I can do that in a different video. I'm like trying to give slight little tips here and there of how I found these, but it's just really your preference. I like to find things with really delicate details like this or that could take your grandmother's entire life to make. <laughs> so I love things like this. I love little treasures so, so much. So last year, like December, I went thrifting with my man and I found this in the women's section but I did on believe this is a men's piece because I was like, I ain't wearing this, my man's gonna wear this. He has yet to wear it because I want to style it like for him in a way, he, he got style. But I'm wanting to like find a beautiful like yellow and shoes to match these pieces. You guys, let me know how amazed you are because I was freaking amazed. And these, I believe, were $20 each. Totally worth it. And here we go. The first one. Look at And the inside is this beautiful yellow, which is just an amazing contrast. So I think this is so dope, so beautiful. Like something that is elevating and you can definitely wear out. I was just so friggin' in love with these things. Look at this one. Like that embroidery. I don't know if it's machine, but it's freaking beautiful. Like these were probably my best finds of 2020. The end of it. I probably should have showed this one before these beautiful pieces. This one is beautiful, but it's like my happy old man. And it's just a vest that's like this beautiful kind of wool. I just like the colors and I had found my man like a beautiful kind of like orange sweater thing. So I thought this would be kind of good to go with it in contrast. And um, I also thrifted him a cream colored um, sweater. So these would just kind of rock well with them. That brings us to the end of our video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today. And thank you so much for sticking through and watching. If you are new here, welcome. And please like and subscribe for any future videos. If you guys have things that you absolutely loved in this video or that you hated, I would love to hear in the comments down below. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.